Well, hello there, Virgo. Yes, it's your turn. <laughs> this is Gypsy from Gypsy Love Portal. And I'm going to be doing your love relationship reading for the month of January 2020. Um, if this resonates with you, stick around. If it doesn't, come back some other time. Okay, but I'm going to go ahead and jump on it. I already pre-shuffled to speed up the process. Then I'm going to do some clarification cards as well and oracles. Okay, so anyways, um, so, uh, so I did your side here and the person you're connecting here with, okay? This is whoever you're connecting with, all right? And this could be a little bit before January or right after January, okay? Take, take care of this resonates. So Virgo, I feel that um, we got the star here, okay? I feel that you've been wishing for something here for a while and whatever you've been wishing for, I feel that it's coming your way. And this could be, you know, within two to three to six months from now but your wish is coming to fruition okay fruition okay and um this is like getting rid of the old okay getting rid of the old into the new okay um i feel for a while there you maybe have been testing the waters first okay but i feel that your dream and your wishes are finally coming true for this new year, entering the new year, which is beautiful, okay? Whatever it is that you've been hoping for, all right? This is the card of hope, all right? Keep that hope alive because it's coming away, all right? All right? That is because you've been manifesting something here, Virgo. And I feel if you know it or you don't know it, that you do have all the tools necessary that you need to manifest something here, okay? Now, this is more of like sending the love attraction, you know, sending the, the information in, out there into the universe. All right. I feel though that whoever you're connecting with here, this connection was kind of not going anywhere. Okay. This is it, it, being stuck there, stagnant and not going anywhere. And during this time that whoever you're connecting with, you came into an enlightenment here Okay. I'm going to get back to this. I'm getting there. Hold on. Hang there with me. I got this two of swords in reverse. I feel that before you couldn't make a decision here, Virgo, regarding a situation, regarding a person, whoever you're connecting with. There was, I think, a tough decision for you to make. Take wherever this resonates. It's not for everybody. And you finally came. You finally made the decision. Because I feel that you were stuck there for a while without being able to figure something out. Uh, come up with a decision, an option, or whatever it is. So you, you were stuck there, okay? And this wasn't going anywhere. So you had to, you know... I feel that you had to be the one in this connection. You had to make a very important decision. And this was a connection that wasn't going nowhere. But there was something that you're wishing here. And you're manifested this. You manifested something here. Why? Because... Whatever happened or whatever it is, you don't need, don't really need this person. I mean, you could, but you're comfortable where you are. You have, I think, like I said, uh, everything that you need. This is also not sharing all, all of your, you know, kind of protecting your heart. Yes, this could be another wish card. Make a wish, whatever it is, send it out to the law, into the universe and make sure you send it in details, whatever you want, you know for this new year's right but 
this is more not needing anybody right now, you know, not needing this person right now for whatever reason. I feel that you have set like your guards here and you're like, you know what? I'm gonna protect my heart, I forget, I'm gonna protect my, my, you know, most important treasure here, which is my heart. I'm fine where I am right now. I don't need you. You know what I'm saying? This is for some of you, Virgos. Now, your main card here is because, your main card here is because you're going through a transformation here and I feel that you know this. You're moving into a, into a new you, new beginnings, new years, new this, new that, right? And leaving the, the past behind. This wasn't going anywhere, Virgo. So I believe you manifested this. You manifested this. Maybe you realize that this is not worth pursuing, but you're going through a transformation that's gonna be better than what you have. And that's why I feel that you're like, I'm fine alone right now. I'm, I'm okay. I don't know what this person did, Virgo, but we're gonna to get to their side to see why you feel that way. Um, now with this decision that you couldn't make, you definitely make it a decision here. Like I said, you finally, uh, you know, which path to go, which path to choose. You know, this is having goals right here. Uh, this could be because you're going through a transformation. It's possible that you're leaving somebody behind. Whoever does not serve you anymore and moving in with the new. Like I said, uh, with the old in with the new, right? And here you are actually putting action into it. You, you know, you're not just thinking about it, talking about it. You're actually going towards it. It could be possible that you're waiting for something here to happen as well. Okay. Um, hold on, guys. Let me close this door here real quick. Because my family is arriving. <laughs> okay. I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> All right, guys. So, yeah. I feel this is your energy here, Virgo. It's the king of wands. It could be a female or a male energy, doesn't matter. This is right now having fun. Not taking things too seriously. This is being playful, like a player, you know, just having a good time out there. It could be possibly that you are very into yourself right now. Too good for this, too good for that. Maybe you feel that way right now. I'm too good for this kind of connection, you know? I'm too good for this or that, for this situation. It could be that, maybe a bit arrogant, arrogant. Oh God, I can't even say it, sorry. Um, but very charming, okay? And I feel that you know we have so much charm, Virgo, here, that you know how to use the power by getting what you want with your charm here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And and I feel that people love you, you know? You're very much loved. Okay, this is your energy here. All right? Um, now, This is also not giving up on something, on your belief, on your goal here, and what you have in mind, okay? This is, you believe in getting the job done here. Whatever that you're manifesting, you're gonna get it done because you have the tools and you have everything you need to manifest whatever you want in this new year, 2020, January. Now, there's a blockage here though 
with the queen all right with the queen of pentacles the blockage could be um financially or more like how can i say putting a pause and putting a uh, work into this connection here that you, whoever you're connecting with okay because you know uh, the queen is a hard worker you know and all that so we we'll get a blockage here and i feel this has to do with the connection you kind of put a pause there it breaks hey, 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 hey. like pause hey, hey, hi. wait a minute wait a minute i'm not gonna go any further from here until maybe something happens maybe whatever you're waiting because it wasn't going anywhere so why will why would you keep on going you see what i'm saying so there's a blockage on, on believing and putting some work into this connection, you know, like, uh, how can I say it? You feel something here is not worth it right now. Why? Let's move on to your partner right here. Because something has ended or will end. This is nothing new, Virgo. This is not something that's gonna happen suddenly, okay? This is something you've probably been feeling that way. But your connection, this person feels that something has ended. It could have been that you ended because I don't see you suffering too much here. It might have been a tough decision. Maybe this is something that you had to make a decision, you yourself, Virgo, regarding this person you're connecting with here. But they feel that something is has ended between you guys if it's not a relationship something feels dead inside you know what i'm saying like not worth pursuing maybe they feel that now with you maybe that's the kind of vibe you're giving them because their main card is the king of swords and this is their blockage this is them sometimes being serious with you like back and forth sometimes like being truthful with you and sometimes maybe lying to you white lies or whatever it is this is them not being truthful sometimes with you and sometimes they are you know and this is like them not being so committed or serious in this relationship sometimes that you feel they are it's like kind of confusing and this it's like kind of kind of going back and forth with their emotions with their feelings sometimes they're cold and sometimes they're not this is their energy that i feel and maybe that's why what helped you come into this decision that you had a hard time of letting go you know this is being in the crossroads all right um Now, something maybe, this is their energy because I feel deceit there. I feel, uh, you know, um, it's like sometimes leaving without, you know, like without explanation, without I don't want to say cheat, you know. Um, <laughs> it could be either that they felt cheated or you felt cheated. Either they did this to you or you did this to them. So that's why there's a feeling of, you know, this is like ending or ended or, you know, take however this resonates. Somebody here is running off, you know, with you know like hiding something um now we have here the six of swords and that's their blockage on their side as well this is got this is like going back and forth not sure 
if like should i stay or should i go you know this person is like was stuck on their mind on their you know like trying to figure out or maybe just like this person wasn't sure where to go or where this relationship was going and this connection was going they were they were like uncertain if they if they lived with you they were uncertain if they should move out or they should stay something happened there virgo that they were kind of blocked in moving forward with you Now, I feel there, there is some news coming towards you, okay? At least in the beginning for me. This, this person is going to contact you, okay? They're going to connect with you with some kind of emotional conversation. They may be or come out as seem very um, uh, sensitive okay some kind of sensitive news they might bring to you into the plate all right whether it has to do with this here yet or not i don't know but you know it could be a communication having to do with something like this obviously because it's here i feel they don't want to end this with you I don't feel this they want to end it. I think they're gonna try to talk you into staying in this connection. I think they see how you're handling yourself pretty well, you know. Okay. It could have been a third party situation. I see them juggling here. Okay. I could be wrong. And third party situation doesn't necessarily has to be a lover. It could be a family member, a friend, getting in between, getting between you guys in a situation and this, you know, in the nose where they don't belong. But, but if this is a lover, you probably know already, Virgo, this is no, no news to you. But I feel that they were juggling. If not between lovers, then a job and this connection, you know, something that they were juggling. And they were trying to keep the balance there. And it was pretty hard, you know, to balance this. If it was a third party situation, it was pretty hard to juggle both. You know what I'm saying? But this person has a really big crush on you. They do though. But they gotta stop juggling. Remember, guys, it could be a little bit vice versa here, okay? Because it's uh, the energy connection connect, connected here. Now, somebody here, maybe them. You know, this feels like toxic. Uh, more like controlling, okay, with the devil card. Controlling. Trying to have control in this, you know, controlling the connection. Okay? And this is the kind of person that it's, they are so, how can I say, um, it's like temptation. It's hard not to fall for them. You know what I'm saying? Um, they have the persuasive uh, kind of attitude, you know, kind of um, seduce you into... You know what I'm saying? That's hard to say no. <laughs> They're coming. They're coming to, uh, you know. Maybe one day, sometimes you're like this, and sometimes you're like this. Oh, love you, love you. Like this, I love you. Like I said, this something here wasn't going nowhere. And I think you know, right? But... So, yeah. So it could be a very controlling kind of situation. Maybe they were a bit controlling, you know, and that was a turn off to you. All right. 
Now they are trying to gain balance in their life with the, you know, they are trying to gain balance here. You know, I believe they are going to communicate, definitely going to communicate with you, you know, um, and try to gain balance here in a situation with you. Whether it's to keep seeing each other or as a friendship, at least, you know. But something here that they're trying to gain balance back again into their life. And once I feel, um, Virgo, once they gain this balance, it could be that you're waiting for that, you know, waiting for something like that, for them to realize something, gain balance on a situation here, okay? And that's when they can fully... Uh, be, how can I say, fully enjoy a connection with you the right way. You see what I'm saying? Here they don't have the balance. It's kind of, uh, right? And then here they gain balance. And once that happens, then they can nurture this connection. Then they can nurture this relationship. You know, this is being devoted then. Then they'll be able to devote fully to you if they drop something here. Right? It could be the news that they will eventually give it to you. Okay, then they'll be ready. But are you going to be ready, Virgo? Because you're going through a transformation. It's the new year here. And I believe you want the right thing for you now. You want, you know what I'm saying? Because you're going to be fine or you're fine or you're going to be fine being by yourself. You got all you need. You're satisfied. It's not like you're yearning and, and crying and so depressed. You see what I'm saying? You can go through this. You can pull this out. You know what I'm talking about? Whatever it is there, you know it. So let's go ahead and clarify a few cards here for us on your side, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and clarify. Um, let's go ahead and clarify this Knight of Cups right here. Let's go ahead and do that. You feel so confident, confident, you know, which is great. Confident on yourself, Virgo. Ooh. Okay, let's take those two. Okay, wow. Wow, you're, you're like cold now, Virgo. Something, you know, like whether this is you or the person you're connecting with was left out in the cold here. Okay, something was unfair done to you or you did to them that was unfair and you're like okay you know what fine i'm gonna be I, like if they did this to you you're like fine i'm gonna be on this i don't need you i'm fine on my own go bye goodbye you know what i'm saying but if this is you that did to them left them out in the cold and it was unfair like a win-win kind of thing but you know nobody really wins then you're like I have other things going on for me. It's a transformation I'm going through. I'm sorry. You know, they might feel that it's unfair, but it is fair to you because you don't need it. You don't need maybe a certain connection here in your life. Let's go ahead and clarify another one for you, Virgo. Let's clarify the death card. This major transformation that's happening for you in the new year's 2020. Please, universe, clarify the death card for Virgo. Clarify the death card for my Virgo. Woo. Come on, come on, come on. Please, please, thank you guys, spirit guides, universe. Clarify death card for my Virgo. Please clarify the death card for my Virgo. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Wow. 
this is awesome Virgo you might not like what you're hearing here but let me tell you this is happening for a reason whatever's happening here you probably already know only you know I'm just reading what the cards are saying here the messages it's because you're closing one chapter and going into the new you're going in you're entering this new year the right way Virgo even though it might not seem to you or it does whatever you know what you want and you know what you deserve so you go in this new year you know you're taking in with you all the lessons you've learned with these connections the past connections whatever right and you're applying into the future okay you see what i'm saying you're closing a chapter entering a new chapter that's why this death card is here that's why you're transforming you're going towards that and usually it's something that's looking really good for you in the future that's coming ahead this new year for you is going to be a huge transformation okay uh i'm going to clarify just one more card for you and let's go ahead and clarify um let's clarify this double swords there please clarify the two swords for my Virgo universe please spirit guides clarify clarify um, the two of swords for my Virgo please thank you Woo! oh my gosh look at this another we got this on your side and this on their side this is double okay Wow, double seven swords. I feel you had to make a decision because yes, something didn't feel right to you. Either you or the person you're connecting with, somebody. Um, this is a deceitful card. Somebody did you wrong or you did them wrong. Um, take whatever this resonates. But this is a tough decision though that you maybe had to make because it's not easy to let go, right? All right, but somebody here ran off with somebody's heart. Somebody here is feeling though the disconnection. All right. Um, but this is like like I said, it was unhealthy, maybe an unhe unhealthy connection, or you got you found yourself in a situation that was unhealthy. But this person eventually is going to gain balance, though. Um, then they're going to be able to nurture this connection if you allow, okay? Remember, things could change. You know, you could change your path, right? You could change your path, you know? You could change your path. Even though it sounds, it is like this right now, Virgo. Anybody can, t can like twist the plans around you know what i'm saying huh this could be even you going in with somebody new okay let's clarify on their side now on their cards here let's clarify the um um let's see here you know what let's clarify this double card right here right the seven of swords on their side on the person you're connecting with please universe okay the seven swords for the person that virgo is connecting thank you hmm they left because they probably thought if it, this was them that they could start a new beginning somewhere either with somebody else okay because you see the juggle here maybe they regret it they will regret because they're going to come back with some emotional news here for you and no, you know, emotional conversation, communication. But it's because they wanted, I don't know if you can see this card, sorry, the lights. They wanted to take an opportunity here. They didn't want to miss on this opportunity. They felt as there was a new opportunity for them. So they ran off. It's going to be a little bit vice versa. Take however it resonates. Okay. Let's clarify uh, two more cards. I'm going to pick another one here. 
Um, let's go ahead and clarify the devil card. Please clarify the devil card. Oh my gosh. Okay. The devil card because this person was a bit manipulative. Okay, because we have the blockage with the Knight of Cups. Some days they were loving, some days they weren't, you know, but they used their charm to get you um, to open up for them, okay? And then once they know that you've opened yourself to them, then they know they can take advantage, okay? I feel that sometimes, you know, they might have wanting, the reason why it's because of this juggle here. I can say juggling, but you know what I'm saying. Things were out of balance. You know, they use their, like, like I said, seduction to get to you. But I think you know better, Virgo. All right, guys, like I said, if it doesn't resonate with you. It's for a Virgo that needs to hear this. It's a general reading, so. Now, last card I'm going to do. Let's go ahead and let's get down with this Two of Pentacles here and find out what's going on with that, please. Uh, clarify the Two of Pentacles for Virgo, for their, whoever they were connecting with. Two of Pentacles. What's up with the Two of Pentacles for the person that Virgo is or was connecting with or will be connecting with? Clarify the two of pentacles, please. Using for our spirit guides. Clarify. Two of pentacles. One. Thank you. All right. Wow. Because they're juggling because. We got the sun here because they wanted this made them feel happy it's possible that whoever they were juggling with having that security on both sides made them happy okay um I feel that with this juggle, the two of pentacles, okay, whether it was two people or not, made them feel secure, like having a plan A and a plan B. But remember, this could simply be juggling things in life. It doesn't necessarily have to be lovers, okay? It could be that they were having a hard time making this connection work, juggling between this and that, because they were, they were looking for happiness somewhere there. It could be that they were just thinking about themselves and not thinking as a, a whole situation as a whole. So maybe something kind of there went off, went out, you know what I'm saying? Think kind of not worked out the way it was supposed to, but they thought they were doing this because they thought it was gonna turn out into happiness it's kind of strange isn't it uh, hmm this made them feel good you know what i'm saying having you and having whatever was here made them fulfilled and it made them feel that they had it all 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 and maybe more than all you know what i'm talking about all right, let's go ahead and see the energy between you guys with this Oracle cards here real quick. What's the energy between the Virgo and the person they're connecting with? What's the energy between those two? What's the energy between them? Please, universe. What's the energy between Virgo and the person that they're connecting with. What is the energy between both of them? What's the energy? Please, universe, thank you. Adjacent possibilities. 
Ooh, let's see what's going on here. That's the card you got. Hmm. This is the energy between you guys. Number 24, possibilities. So let's see what the Oracle card has to say here. So, many unconsidered options. Hmm. Sometimes a force of habit keeps you stuck and unaware of potentially healthier and happier choices at hand. See? Unhealthy. Stuck. Okay? Yet, every moment gives you the option to open a different... different door. And take a different course, whether it's in your thoughts, behaviors, or major life decision. Manifesting a different, you know, taking a different course. The death card, moving on, forward, something, major transformation. Decisions, <laughs> just like you said, decisions. <sighs> so, unlike the indecisions, indecision card, which indicates confusion and vacillation about which course to take, which course to take decisions. The adjacent pass, um, add the descent, I can even say, cause you know my accent, <laughs> possibilities, is here to tell you that you have many options. Okay, Virgo. But this is the energy between you guys, see? And it's time to take a wider look at things. As you consider the many life choices available, you will feel more and more empowered and motivated to make the decision that brings happiness. That brings happiness. <sighs> Strength and forward motion, okay? In terms of your goals, this card could indicate unknown and previously unconsidered ideas. Perhaps there's a marketing tool you haven't thought of, a connection you haven't tapped, or even an entirely different direction that would be more suited to you. Different direction that would be more suited to you. Okay? So, whew, yeah, family is over if you hear the baby crying upstairs. <laughs> We're almost over, you guys. Be conscious, be aware, okay, Virgo, and be flexible and willing to take a new, different action now. Whew. Oh, boy. Yeah, 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 guys. And I feel this is what you're doing. You're, you're making the decision here. It was a tough decision, like I said. All right, one more oracle and we're done, guys. All right, this is the lover's oracle and this is just a message for you, okay? Here we go. This is the card I felt. And it says reflection. Ooh, give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best, okay? All right, guys, so it's a reflection card for you going into this new year. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best, Virgo. Yes, and it will, okay? It will. Be positive. I know you can feel this. It, you deserve it. You know what I'm saying, guys? Well, thank you so much for sticking around, and I hope you enjoyed this video, uh, this tarot reading. Uh, happy, happy, happy New Year's. I love you all. Namaste. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. <laughs> Ciao.